With regard to miners here, Bitcoin miners or crypto miners, I personally would rather hold the actual asset itself uh, than put to, I'm not saying that people shouldn't maybe look at these things here, but give them a real hard look and think about why they want to own a miner as opposed to the actual asset. And this goes, this goes for anything else. And I get the same question all the time with regard to, you know, metals miners. Hey, Greg, what about this? What about that? If I had to choose between one or the other, I'm going to, I'm going to want to hold the asset itself. Uh, no other real counterparty risk involved. So it's just, it, it makes it more desirable for me. So uh, at this point, I said, I don't own any of that. I don't plan on it. I do plan on adding uh, to, and I haven't done this in a while, honestly, adding to any of my crypto positions. I, I've been buying this stuff for a long time now. Uh, and I've been telling people to do the same. So um, I mean, if we got, for example, another major drop in, in cryptocurrencies, I, I, I would absolutely buy it. Uh, actually, that's not true. I did buy, I did buy more Bitcoin about uh, maybe two months ago. I bought some more. Uh, I bought more Litecoin and bought more Ethereum at that point. We were under a little pressure at that point. I, th I said, hey, you know what? Might be a good opportunity. And if we drop again, well, yeah, I, you know, I think it would be an opportunity to buy more. Uh, and the same thing for me goes with precious metals too. Let them play their game. I, we all know it's rigged. So good. Let them do that. And we're going to play our game too. And and we're in these, th look, I'm not trading this stuff. I do not, I don't trade cryptos. I do not trade precious metals. I am a holder of them. I am an owner of them. Um, I do trade the equity market. I feel comfortable doing that. Um, I, the other no, the other stuff is, to me, a hedge. It keeps me hedged and it lets me sleep at night a little more. When when anybody is in any one asset here, they of course, there's, there's going to be worry. Okay, but if you have yourself positioned in a way that you really don't, you really don't care wh which way the market goes because you're still going to be all right, well, that helps you stay sane in, in an insane environment. Have you ever looked into like, for instance, silver mining stocks, which is a land field, uh, a minefield in so many ways, it's almost like in some ways, um, the ICO days in crypto, yeah. the way that some of these miners seem to be operating, but have you ever, do you ever look into the silver mining stocks? And do you think that's a place where people might be able to hedge if they're not comfortable getting off the stock market? I think that's, they could do that, but for, but for me, it, I want, I, don't do that. But I think it, it is a place that people could, uh, by doing a lot of research and understanding what they're getting into, again, sure, you know, you can, you can, you can invest in a lot of things. And you, people can put money to work in a lot of things, but people have like, most people have a finite amount of capital that they have. I have X, Y, Z, and this is what I want to do with it. Um, they should, I mean, diversify um, absolutely into different things. And if having, let's say, miners of any kind want, are, 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 should be part of their portfolio, I mean, that's, that's up to the individual. I'm not going to say they should go out and do it. Uh, I do not do this. I don't feel like I need to at this point. And again, too, for me, like if I want to be paid to hold a stock, of a company. I don't want to just own a stock just because I believe it's going to go higher. I want to be paid to hold it. So my core holdings, uh, every one of them is a large cap company that pays a dividend. I want to be paid. I don't want to sit back and just, you know, I mean, I think there's a value in a lot of assets that don't pay dividends, uh, a, a companies as well. And some of these are probably miners as well. But to me, like I said, I'm very simple. My strategy is, is exceedingly easy to follow. It's just right now in the present environment, owning core positions, which would be large cap companies that do pay a dividend. I trade around these things. In fact, if you go to my website, traderstrades.net, I have a whole slew of open trades. And some of these things I've been in and out of multiple times, setting up credit spreads and or uh, selling options onto the market. I'm, I am a net seller now. Uh, I, I kind of changed my whole strategy around. I'm getting, I'm getting kind of old to get uh, to be uh, bouncing in and out of positions like I used to do. And it can drive you out of your mind, really. So I, I decided, hey, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to take an easier route. Um, a lot less, 
a lot less volatility. I haven't had a single loss with regard to since I started selling options. And I'm very conservative too. I tell everyone what I'm doing. In my, in my newsletter, I put out several strategies. I tell people, hey, you know, this is how you can play it if you want to. But again, people need to reflect on themselves too. But going back to what we were talking about, absolutely. You know, there, there, there are so many ways people can make the market work for them. Uh, some of these are very, very simple. I'm a simple guy. And, and some of these are kind of convoluted and, and complicated. And that's, I want people to avoid that. I want people to think about the easiest way um, to make this work for them. Because once you start getting into like all kinds of complicated trades and hedges and whatever, that, that's when stuff gets out of control and, uh, and, and, and makes me even nervous. So stay simple. And uh, I think we're all going to be okay. I think we know what to do. I mean, it's pretty easy. I'm sure people that follow your work have a very good handle as to what they should be doing here and why they're doing it. Why are we doing the things that we are doing? We're taking advantage of the current environment. We know what's going on about the debt inflating like we started off. We want to be hedged by holding uh, hard assets, by holding cryptos. I tell people all the time, you must, or at least I believe, you should have some cryptocurrencies in your portfolio. I, I don't understand why some people just, some people refuse to understand it at all. They don't even want to. They just, they think it's out of their wheelhouse, but it's really not. It's a very simple concept here. Here we have the opportunity by owning uh, cryptocurrencies to have an asset that is not controlled by a central bank. You own it. It's not owed back to an issuing central bank plus interest that they create out of thin air. To me, sounds like a place to be. I don't know. That's just me.